I want to thank you for joining us today on this Tuesday of Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. We're just going to do a very short devotional today, sing a couple of songs together, have a prayer. And so we begin today, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us sing together our opening song. John, the first chapter, St. John writes, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things came into Him, through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into this world in Him was life, and, the life, and it was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. Now there was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that everyone might believe in him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light and the light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. There ends the lesson. We give thanks this day for God is light. His light enlightens our lives, enlightens our worlds. Truth, truth, certainly true with knowledge. We are enlightened in our knowledge, but most importantly, in our relationship with God. The good news is that God did not sit by silent amidst the chaos of the world, but spoke a word. Bam, and there Jesus was born. How exciting is that? The true light which enlightens everyone Everyone come is, has come into the world. And so the good news is, is that this Jesus is for everyone. And so we need to change the way we think. It's not just for faithful Christians. The light of the world, Jesus Christ, is for Muslims and for Jews. The light of the world is for atheists and agnostics. The light of the world has come so that all might come to believe. 
And so I'm inviting you to be as hopeful as God is in this Christmas season. God is hopeful that at some point, everyone will come to know the comfort and the consolation of his love for them. Don't ever give up on anyone. Don't ever say, oh, well, they're just a Muslim. Oh, they're just a Jew. Oh, they're just an atheist. So what? They're a person for whom God has come. God adores them and loves them. And so we must always be welcoming. Because God wants to touch everyone's life through Jesus Christ. Let us give thanks. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful again for the lesson for today. We pray that you would inspire us with your presence, that we might in turn share your love with others. For he asks this all in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to sing one more song, and then I'm going to send you forth with a blessing today. So let us sing that wondrous song that, with which you're all familiar, Silent Night. Be gracious to you. 
The Lord has sent his view forth in peace, known forever in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.